Well, I'm running up to the parts house, and I wanted to say, uh, I normally don't get mentioned anything political. Um, and most people know which way I lean um, from the limp in my walk. But I went for a small motorcycle ride the other day and uh, just to go get a cold beer real quick, drink a beer, come back to the shop, get back to work. And uh, first thing that upset me, man, is uh, my old place that I used to go to, uh, the jailhouse saloon, is closed down. Uh, so I'm, I really don't have a place that I'm real comfortable with going to. So I, I went to two places, two places that were closing at like one at 11.30 and the other one at midnight. And I was about to give up and I was swinging by this little place that I, I know of, but I really, really don't care about it. Anyway, I went in, they had a, a live country band playing, you know, and I just wanted the beer. I just wanted the beer to go home. I wanted to get away from a ride for a few minutes. I walked up to the bar, you know, and I was like, hey, uh, give me a long neck, Bud Light. And uh, I wasn't thinking. And uh, I, it's just something I've been drinking Bud Light for all these years. And uh, I bought it and I started to walk outside and I took a sip of it and it snapped. But, you know, I snapped. I was like, oh, damn, I just bought a Bud Light. So <laughs> I held it down and slowly started to peel the, the label off of the bottle. <laughs> I was embarrassed to hold it. And uh, I, I took a couple more swigs and I just, I just, I couldn't enjoy it. So I threw it away and I went out and got my motorcycle and I left. Uh, I'm pretty pissed off about this. Uh, you know, folks, all you had to do was take this stupid commercial and show it to some knobheads and see, you know, how big of a punchback you got. It would have been pretty easy to figure that one out. So whoever did that commercial, I hope they're fired. My grandfather, my grandfather used to own a place called Dixie Outdoor Advertising. He did all of Anheuser-Busch's advertising. Look at these idiots here. All of their advertising here in uh, uh, Houston. So every sign that you've seen back in the 60s and the 70s, my grandfather owned those signs uh, uh, in Houston. And uh, I think he was the only game in town, the only big one anyway. He did the Alabama Conchata Indian Reservation. He did the uh, outdoor advertising for all the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. And he also did Anheuser-Busch. I remember going to Anheuser-Busch as a kid. They used to have rides. There used to be a little boat that you could get in. And uh, you could ride around in this uh, boat through this river of beer, I, I guess it was. And I remember it smelling like yesterday's bunghole. Oh, there is nothing pretty about the smell of a, a beer factory. You know, just nasty, nasty stuff. So, anywho, uh, I kind of had a place with Anheuser Busch. I grew up with it. My son in law works for him. And uh, I'm, I'm not sure. I got to call and ask him to see. They may have changed all of their uniforms to pink. Uh, which is fine, you know, um, I'm not a hater, you know, but, hey. uh, I can't support, uh, somebody that, uh, promotes, uh, young boys dressed up like girls dancing around acting like idiots. I just can't do it. And, uh, that's my piece of the pie. And I'm not really saying anything political. All I'm saying is I'm mad at Anheuser-Busch for screwing up a, a, a bad beer, but it is a beer. And it's a beer I'm used to. And when you get old, you like the same thing every day. You don't like change. You just want to go get what you your taste buds are used to and do it and be over with. And y'all have taken that away from me. So for that, 